Traders, what's good? Welcome back to my trading journal here at Elementary FX. Today I'll be going through a short opportunity that I took on the Aussie USD on the 60 minute chart. But before we get into the review and analysis of this trade, I just want to mention that um, analysis wise, I think this was a really good trade, but trade management wise, uh, I think I messed it up in this trade. So this could potentially serve as a very good lesson for me and possibly for you in the future. So this is the analysis behind it. And basically what we can see from this chart is that price has formed a double top. Price made a push up, made a retracement and basically retested uh, the previous highs right here and formed a double top before eventually breaking this neckline of um, our double top. And at this point in time, price was around here and I was looking for a potential, um, I was looking for a potential retracement to the 618 level of this swing high, this swing low. And as you can see, I had my sell limit right below the 618 level just to ensure uh, this is what you call front running your order because I just wanted to make sure that if price came up to that 618 but not quite pushing past it, at least my order was filled. And as you can see, that was a really good decision I made because um, I had my sell limit 3 pips below the 618 level. And basically, price just um, touched that level, my sell limit, before making a very nice reversal towards the downside. And um, so now that we have the analysis out, this is what was happening when the trade was triggered, after the trade was triggered. After the trade was triggered, you can see that price made a very nice push down and basically I thought this was going to be a really good trade. And um, price made a push up. Let me just draw the arrows for you. We had a push down consolidation for a bit before price made a push down, before breaking these lows right here. And at this point in time, um, I actually had my uh, stop loss set all the way to break even, all the way here. And um, basically price just continued its way low and at this point in time, it was about 6 a.m. in the morning, my time and I figured it was time to sleep and I wanted to um, ensure that I had some profits locked in. So I moved my stop loss to this uh, point, 74444. And as you can see, uh, in the next hour, price just spiked up for about 30 pips, about 28 pips, 29 pips, um, eventually stopping me out for about 30 pips. So about 30 pips here before making its way down and eventually hitting targets. Um, when I woke up and I saw this, I felt like it absolutely feels like shit guys. But uh, you know what, that's the part, that's the process that we have to go, tr go through as traders. And um, this is something that I'll be looking on in future trades. I actually wrote down in my um, trading journal that I should not move stops in future trades. Not sure how that will apply to uh, future trades if it goes well or, or not so well but I think um, trade management wise I will definitely have to look on that and try and improve uh, so this has been my trade Aussie USD stopped out for a profit of 30 pips when I could have gotten out with slightly more than 83 pips so this is something that I will be looking at again when um, I encounter another trade like this thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next trading journal